A surprising new report suggests that Yahoo spied on its customers' email accounts for the government. Reuters reports the company last year used a secret surveillance program. It allegedly scanned hundreds of millions of Yahoo mail accounts at the request of the National Security Agency, or FBI. The report is based on the accounts of anonymous former Yahoo employees. In a statement to CBS News, the company says this, Yahoo is a law-abiding company and complies with the laws of the United States. CBS News contributor Nicholas Thompson is editor of the New, York, New Yorker magazine's website. It's newyorker.com and joins us at the table to discuss. Boy, Nick, this sounds like a big deal. It's never happened before. How significant is it? This is a very big deal. It's very intense. It's new, and it's quite surprising. Because? Um, because what's happened since the Snowden revelations a couple of years ago, Silicon Valley has been contesting most of the government's efforts to spy on it. What appears to have happened last year is the government went to Yahoo and said, hey, we want to spy on all the incoming mail to all Yahoo accounts. Will you build us something yeah. that makes, us, makes it easy to do that? So and they Yahoo, created a, a special software. They created yeah, special that. software that would scan every incoming Yahoo message for a certain phrase or keyword. We don't know what the phrase or keyword was. Would store those in a special place for the government and did it in real time. That is real active cooperation. That's different and new. And the question is, what in the world was the government looking for yeah. that would make Yahoo do this. We have no idea. No information has come out on that. You one has to assume it had something to do with terrorism, but we don't know. But the idea of a huge tech company like this aiding a, and abetting the government in surveillance. Right. So what must have happened is the government must have come to Yahoo and said, this is legal. You have to do it under our authority, presumably under the Foreign Intelligence Surveillance Act. Yahoo went to its lawyers. The lawyer said, hey, the government's right. Let's not challenge it. Let's do it. Very few people at Yahoo knew about it. In fact, Yahoo's head of security didn't know about it. When he learned about it, he apparently resigned. So we saw the NSA whistleblower Edward Snow Snowden tweeting about this yesterday, saying that yeah. people with Yahoo accounts should delete their, their, their email accounts. I mean, this is very bad PR for Yahoo. It comes at a very bad time because it comes right after the news about the huge hack. Mm. If you have a Yahoo account, it means should we really be trusting the company to be working as hard as it can to protect our privacy? And both Google and Microsoft said they had never received such a request. Right, which is very interesting exactly. why the government went specifically to Yahoo. So we know that they got the information, but we don't know why and we don't know what they're going to do with it. We don't know what they're going to do with that information. And of course, in Yahoo's defense, mm -hmm. there are a lot of people who are fine saying we're willing to give up some privacy to help the government in its anti-terror operations. Clearly, Yahoo believed that argument, did not think it was putting its users at risk or did not feel like fighting through the courts to defend them. Always good to have you, yes. here, Nicholas Delighted Thompson. To be here. Thank you so much.